Thank you, Senator Schumer, for gathering us here today to make this significant announcement and to continue to put the pressure on. And I understand the sense of urgency that comes with this. Uh, also, a great friend of mine for many, many years since I first ran for uh, local office, federal office, uh, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, who's always there and always shows up as well. And my partners uh, from Congress to the Assembly to the Senate, uh, local government. I spent 14 years as a local government official. So I'm well versed in uh, asking the Army Corps of Engineers for help and pushing people higher up the food chain. And now that I'm in a position in uh, state government, I can stop complaining about the state government and I can commit here today that the state will provide the resources for this project to get the engineering and design phase underway. So we're, that's happening right now, well, right here today. So I thank, five that all, right, one. all right, thank you. <laughs> So that was easy. Uh, what is not easy is uh, the aftermath of a horrific storm. And there's a lot of pain out there. I just left uh, other streets over in Yonkers and around Queens and Long Island yesterday. I'm heading to Staten Island after this. So many people's lives were absolutely turned upside down. And to the families who had loved ones with them when they went to bed or said goodbye when they went off to work or went to the grocery store, and those individuals who never return, there's a lot of pain in our state right now. And our hearts go out to all of them. And we stand here committed to do whatever we can to help their families, help their neighborhoods, and as the Senator said, to build the resiliency wherever we can to fight back Mother Nature. Mother Nature sounds like nice, and Mother Nature is like nice and nurturing and caring. Well, Mother Nature had a really bad night the other night. And because she was so angry, uh, we are still in the throes of a cleanup where lives have been devastated, property demolished. And I want to thank, and my heart goes out to the first responders here representing those all over the state of New York. They teamed up with our state police to literally save people from the raging waters uh, that had turned their streets into rivers. And it was a horrific situation. So I'm just here today to say thank you to everyone. Let them know that I'm no stranger to clean up. I've uh, been cleaning up a long time. Uh, projects, uh, endeavors, and uh, whether it's seven feet of snow in Buffalo where people were stranded on highways for 36 hours, uh, right after I was elected two weeks later. So this is new to me, not new to me, and also what we did up on Lake Ontario, and I just announced a resiliency project because we had a 100-year flooding event on Lake Ontario, and it happened again two years later. So when people talk about these 500-year events, 1,000-year events, none of us are buying it anymore. Mother Nature has changed because of what man has done. Uh, man made, man induced climate change. Uh, the extensive greenhouse gases that have destroyed our environment have left us vulnerable. And we all stand together, local, state, and federal officials, to build the resiliency when we can, but also to address the specter of climate change with the greater sense of urgency because the future of climate change is right now. It's happening. We feel it, and we're experiencing the aftermath this week. So I just want to thank everyone involved, and thank you, Senator, for inviting me.